Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. Two. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. April Fool's Day, April 1, 2011. Still cloudy, still cool, still damp, but uh, the weekend looks great next week. Look out for a pretty big severe weather outbreak early in the week, and that's no fooling. Now, let's look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning. First off, from Birmingham, looking north from the Daniel Building. It's cloudy, it's cool, a little light rain in spots. Look at downtown Fayette up in uh, northwest Alabama. And down to the southeast, there's a look at Auburn in Lee County. Big old cold, deep trough over the east, and that's the reason it's so cold. Yesterday, some spots never saw 50. Birmingham's official high was 49. We should be in the low 70s this time of the year. Still in the 40s this morning. Uh, numbers range from 40 in Cullman to 48 in Tuscaloosa. Birmingham sitting at 46 and a little light rain out there. That's the radar at 5.01 a.m. Uh, the uh, rain is very light and spotty and should be ending by mid-morning. Watch warning map. Still got some winter weather issues in the northeast and also up north for parts of Montana and North Dakota. But other than that, things are quiet for now. But uh, things early next week will be heating up. Let's check the uh, convective outlook. This is for day three, which is Sunday. A severe weather risk from the hill country of Texas almost up to Chicago. It includes Dallas, Fort Worth, Tulsa, Kansas City, and St. Louis. And and on day four, which is Monday, Monday night, early Tuesday morning, that goes until Tuesday morning at 7. Severe weather risk all the way from the central Gulf Coast up to uh, Cincinnati. And then on day five, which is after 7 a.m. Tuesday, the risk is extended well to the east from Atlanta over to the South Atlantic coast. And it uh, looks more and more like it will be an overnight Monday night event. Another night of burning the old midnight oil. Here's the QPF chart, expected rain around the nation. And this is suggesting the big numbers uh, from New Orleans up to uh, Boston. And this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. And we'll get a good soaker in there on Monday night. Uh, rainfall amounts of at least one inch likely. Some spots may be getting two inches with that, as you'll see. Let's take a look. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. The trough is progressive. It's moving along. And down below that, model still hinting at uh, maybe... A little scattered light rain. We figured the bulk of the light rain should be over by uh, mid-morning. And just maybe, no promises, just maybe the sun peaks out for a time or two this afternoon. And if the sun does peak out, we should reach the low 60s today. If no sun, we'll stay in the mid to upper 50s for the high. But tomorrow should be beautiful. Sunny with a high in the low 70s. The uh, GFS is showing 71. Sounds pretty good. And Sunday, we should be up there close to 80. And again, you can see the uh, Gulf opening up over Texas, and that's where some severe weather could break out uh, Sunday evening to the west. Monday, look at that trough. Mm -mm. First week in April, something like that coming along. You know there's trouble knocking on the door. There's the surface chart Monday. The surface low is near uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. And it uh, looks like the day Monday will be warm and windy, and uh, we should get up into the perhaps low 80s. Depends on the cloud cover. Monday night at uh, just after midnight, 1 a.m., the trough getting close. And again, this is where the weather should get pretty active. Uh, again, at 1 a.m., the GFS has the storms beginning to move into West Alabama with the surface low over the Ohio River on the Indiana-Kentucky border. Very favorable for severe weather. And, you know, sometimes when you get these late-night events like that, it is a squall line, or QLCS, as people like to call it now, quasi-linear convective system. And just maybe the biggest threat would be from uh, uh, strong straight-line winds with a squall line, but clearly there would be a tornado risk in there. And then at uh, 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, the trough axis is beginning to pass over us, and the storms are long gone. So really and truly, this is suggesting the primary window for uh, 
strong storms, severe storms, maybe 10 o'clock Monday night until, say, 8 a.m. Tuesday, one of these overnight deals. The European is in pretty good agreement with the GFS. This is uh, 1 a.m. Uh, Tuesday morning, just after midnight Monday night. Got the big batch of storms rolling through here. And then at 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, it's long gone. And uh, we'll certainly go with that in the forecast since both models are agreeing pretty good. Quick peek at the severe weather parameters. Uh, this is the heli I'm sorry. This is the Cape surface-based instability uh, just after midnight Monday night, and the GFS has hardly any here. And I'm not so sure about that. I, I would greatly disagree with that. If we do get up in the low 80s Monday, and with the uh, cold air loft coming in here and the strength of the trough, I think the numbers will be a whole lot higher than that. And the helicity is just almost off the chart. This is the low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer, and that's the reason we think there certainly will be some tornado threat here. But again, with it coming in the middle of the night, um, you know, it might wind up being a squall line where the main threat would be from strong straight-line winds with embedded tornadoes. But again, we'll see. We've got the weekend to fine-tune this thing. Then by Wednesday, the trough is progressive. It's on by, and really... Again, there's no evidence of a major freeze threat. Having said that, I do think we'll be in the 30s Wednesday morning. The, G, the uh, GFS is printing 39. I think there's fully a chance we'll see some frost in scattered spots, but a major killing widespread freeze at the moment does not look likely. We warm up into the upper 60s, and then uh, Thursday will be beautiful. Sunny with the uh, highs in the 70s, and the same thing on Friday. And a peek at that following weekend. This is Saturday the 9th of April. If you got something planned outdoors, Another deep surface low uh, to the north, and looks like a band of showers and storms might impact the state at some point that weekend. We'll see. A few days later, April 12th, nice-looking trough to the west. Looks kind of stormy there. And on the 16th, look at that uh, warm bubble over south Texas and Mexico. A uh, big trough over the Pacific Northwest. Fairly weak flow, and that looks pretty benign out there if this happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.